Okay, we have a couple calculus problems here. Uh, that proved to be kind of tricky, so I decided just to make a video about them. So first one here is a rectangle is to be inscribed in a right triangle. Uh -huh, this is a right triangle. Having sides of length 6, 8, and 10, as shown in the diagram, find the dimensions of the rectangle with the greatest area. So this is a max min application problem. So I'm just going to go ahead and label this the length and that the width. So there's that triangle, that rectangle rather right there is what I'm trying to maximize. So the area will equal the length times the width. Good. Now. Um, the problem is, of course, when you're working these problems, is I have to get them down to one variable. So I need to either relate L in terms of W or W in terms of L. So what have we got here? Well, this is a right triangle as well. And if we look at this as two parallel lines, there and there, cut by transversal, that means that this angle is congruent to that angle, which means that uh, these triangles are similar. So I've got these three triangles are all similar to each other. Okie dokie. So let's see here. That's 8 and that's W. That means this distance here is 8 minus W. And that means this is L. So that means this distance here is 6 minus L. And that's 10. All right, so what do I know? I know, I'm going to label this L. That's the same thing. I know that L is to 6 as 8 minus W is to 8. 8 minus W is to eight. In other words, this short side of this triangle is to the short side of the large triangle as the other leg of this triangle is to that leg of the large triangle. So there we go. So I'm going to multiply by six. So I now have L equals six times that, which is going to be 48 minus 6W over 8, which will be 6 minus 6 over 8 is a 3 forced W. Okay? Good. So now that means I can rewrite my area in just terms of W. So if L is 6 minus 3 fourths W, then I can say the area I'm interested in is 6 minus 3 fourths W times W. All right, which means area would be, but that's a minus right there, 6w minus 3 fourths w squared. Okay, splendid. I will now take the derivative of the area. A prime is going to be 6 minus 2 times 3 fourths w which is 3 halves w. And now to maximize that, I want to find, set it equal to 0. So let's do that. If I set this equal to 0, that means w equals, um, well, let's do, let's not skip a step here. 3 halves w will equal 6. So 3w equals 2 times 6, which is 12, so W equals 4. All right, splendid. Now, if W equals 4, then I know that L equals 6 minus 3 fourths times W, which is 4. The fourths cancel out to 6 minus 3, which is 3. So, the dimensions of the greatest area that can be inscribed in there will be the situation where W is 4 and L is 3. 
Well, there you go. I do not recommend you do your math in pen, but I wanted this to show up better on the video. And you see, that's what happens right there. See that smudge? Oh. Okay, so there you go. There's that one. Now, the companion problem to this is the same problem, but in this case, the rectangle to be maximized is situated this way in my, inscribed in my triangle. So again, I'm going to call this uh, length here, call this width. All right. So my area that I'm trying to maximize will simply be length times width. All right. So now, what do we have here? Well, again, it's the same idea. We've got similar triangles all around. So that triangle is similar to the large one, which is similar to that one, which is similar to that one. So let's see. Okay, I'm going to need something else here. So I will use the letter Z. I'm going to label this distance right here Z. That means this distance here would be 8 minus Z. All right. So what does that tell me? Well, that means that, remember, this is our right angle right here, that Z is to 10. Z is to 10 as W is to 6. Excellent. Which means I can write that as Z equals 10W over 6, which is 5 thirds W. Okay. Now, what else do I know? I know that if I look at this triangle right here, that, let's see, L our length is to 10 as, let's see, well, yeah, um, as, and that side then is to the entire side. So L is to 10 as 8 minus Z is to 8. So I'm going to multiply by 10. That means L equals uh, 10, 80 minus 10 Z over 8, which means L equals 10 minus, I can reduce that to 5 fourths, 5 fourths Z. Okay, now I know that Z equals 5 thirds W, so I can further take this L Right here, I'm gonna to have to bring it clear over here because I didn't plan too well. So L is gonna be equal to 10 minus 5 fourths times Z, which is 5 thirds W. So that means L finally is 10 minus 25 twelfths W. Yeesh. Could have written that a little better, I think, but I'm not gonna fix it. So there's my L. So now I can use that in here and reduce my function to just one variable. So that means my new area function will be L, which is 10 minus 25 twelfths times W times W. Well, that means area equals 10 W minus 25 twelfths W squared. And that means then that a prime equals 10 minus 2 times 25 twelfths will be 25 sixths w. Now I want to set that equal to 0. Find the critical point. So this tells me that 25 over 6 times w 
is, e should, is equal to 10. That means that W is equal to 60 over 25, which can be reduced to 12 over 5. So this W here is 12 over 5. Got it. I'll underline that right there. Okay, so I know that L is this. That means L is equal to 10 minus 25 twelfths times W, which is 12 fifths. The 12 cancels out. The 5 goes in 25 five times. This is 10 minus 5, or just 5. So that means that the maximum area of the rectangle I can inscribe in that triangle, in that position, will have a, whoops, a length of 5 and a width of 12 fifths. All right. Very good. Thanks.